I sure had no way of knowing about seven months ago that this little wig was going to change my life and a lot of other people too. Since I've been doing reviews on this wig, too many to count really, too many to count. I've got other people excited about it and now my wig sisters are ordering theirs and it's coming in the mail and they've got questions. So I wanted to help. How come it looks so different than the way it comes in the mail? This is my brand new one, my backup, my last of the backups. I hope. And it comes very different than what you see here. So my brand new clean one here, not really been worn out outside of a few videos to uh, compare and contrast. It's just like what you're going to get. So let me kind of show you how I did it so that yours can look like this if that's what you're looking for. It comes straight out of the box so everything is very flat. So when you put it on, it's going to look flat. So all that permatease has been flat. And I love permatease. The permatease is what's keeping this looking like this. So all the permatease in here has already been pulled up and is standing up. It is not flat. So the other thing to notice is that the crisscross part is on the left, but my part is on the right. So flipping the part is going to bring all of this whole top layer of curls up and over with the permatease. So the curl pattern is going to look different. So this curl pattern starts down here is very flat because it's been smashed. This side's going to look very different because this side has some from the other side on top. I hope you're with me so far. Even the back looks different than mine because all this permatease is flat, but this is how the back of mine looks. So what I do is I come in here, first of all, you bend those ear tabs in really good around here. And then you come in up here and you can feel that permatease, very billowy. And I get it all in my fingers like this and I flip it to the other side. Now, judging up that permatease, about the same now. Pulling this up out of the permatease, picking it up and pulling it up out of the permatease. Going in here and, and lift, wiggling those, that permatease like this. raising it up a little bit so that it'll pull and lead everything on top up high. Same with this side. Pick these up out of that permatease. Pick them up out of the permatease. Now, this is still very slick with silicone, very slick. But you see how in time, they're gonna, it's going to clump together because they clump together. That's just the natural 
existence of a wig as it clumps together because it's a it's a fiber it's fabric like fabric gains uh, uh, collects static electricity and so will this but right now it's not and so these things are going to be sort of face floppers but you see how it's coming down into this right here so what I do is I use contour cream and this is very old in fact the packaging is old so it lasts forever um, I remember thinking at the time that it was expensive uh, so I'm not sure what um, it is anymore I know the packaging looks different and um, it's mine is getting real sticky so you can use water in your hand and make it kind of wet and, and, and almost like what we would use dippity do <laughs> so now that this part has been flipped you can take these bangs and I don't go uh, it doesn't do any good to put it in in here it, it's out here that that you need it so I just take them and twist them take them and twist them together like this and that starts to put that clumping together back in it I think the sun is going behind a cloud there so in time as you wear it and the silicone starts to dissipate between the fibers it's going to come back around like this but this is how you get those sides the more you pick up and pull over, I like a deep side part, the more you're going to have on this side. But they, in time, will start to fall back forward in time. And then this side, with just water, and just pulling them out of that permatease, and going in here and revving that permatease up, is going to give you the look that you're looking for. Then after wearing for the day and you come home, the nape is going to need a little bit of attention. So let me take these T-pins out. So when you take it off at night, when you get home, this is gonna need some attention in here, the nape. So what I do is spray some in the bottom of my hand here and pull it through to my fingers. So my palm is kind of wet. That's about it. You don't want too much of a good thing because it's just gonna make it heavy and pull the curls down and look greasy like you need a hair wash. So at this point, you just take each one of the curls and pull them through the nape back into place. I don't use a, a comb or a brush. I, I just use my fingers and I just take each one and pull it through to keep the nape and then I might do the same with these. I might do some with these here and take a look and see if I have any makeup on here from brushing across the sides of my cheek. And I can take a, a makeup wipe remover and just gently take that makeup wipe remover through here and then go back through with the armor all. And then I leave it upside down to, to kind of dry off at night so that it's ready to go in the morning. And then in the morning, I make sure I have those bangs flip back over like this. And then in no time, the the shiny, sweet, soft silicone that we all love when they're brand new will dissipate and you will be left with this, which is just fabulous. It has the best curl pattern ever. And 
even when it's old and crunchy, like seven months. This is seven months now with regular wear. You can see it in my Instagram posts that are random during the day. To know that this is that old. So let me know if you have any questions when you get it. I hope this helps. We'll talk soon.